She's late. She is, but that's the least of your concerns. We'll lose the light, John. James, do the clouds not look ominous to you? I repeatedly explained to Miss Wren the importance of catching the right light and the right wind at the right time, and she's James, just openly ignored me. Look up. It's not a concern, John. The readings I took this morning were quite clear. Far be it for me to doubt you, James, but your weather predictions have been wrong in the past, and it's just possible that you've Don't even think of it. Oh. Ned Chambers. John True, my very good friend. John, this is Ned. One of the hardy entrepreneurs who's invested in our expedition. Do not even think of telling me flight is not possible. Mr Chambers, we are scientists of the air, and we can tell you the one thing no-one can control is, well, the air. I have paid for gas, I have paid for silk. And is this balloon not the strongest and largest that's ever been? Even so, it can't fight the weather. You don't want to be responsible for a tragedy, sir. I don't wish to be responsible for refunding the 10,000 that came here because you promised them history. We'll fly, Ned. We'll fly. I only need the sky to hold for 90 minutes, and once I'm above the cloud line, we'll be fine. Good. That's fixed, then. Now, did you not promise me a five o'clock ascent? 